the MacGuffin. At one time, these majestic creatures were so numerous they'd block out the sun. Today, the surviving birds are facing extinction due to human error. I'm Lisa Thorne of EnviroVision HD. For the next two hours, we will be following one woman's tireless struggle to save this precious species. Join us as we investigate the plight of the MacGuffin. They want to know what you have to say. They want to hear about the MacGuffins. They will love them. Okay. Hi, I'm Ramona Baker. Would you like to hear more about the MacGuffin cause? Sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> Did you know in 10 years the MacGuffin population will be cut down to zero? No. Are you familiar with MacGuffins, sir? G, 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 G. D, 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 D. All right, we're here bright and early in my apartment. 4.30, great time of the day. Hey, guys. When I was 11, I had this bird, Sandusky, and he was a great bird. And uh, one day, I left the cage door open, and he got out. He, he didn't come back, but it's my lucky cage. I leave it open just in case Sandusky ever comes back and maybe, you know, a MacGuffin will join him. This is so inspiring to have you guys right here in my apartment playing guitar for you. Yeah. It's great. Who's in for yoga? My parents were actually bankers. And it's funny because our last name is Baker and people always confuse the two. And I just, I got sick of all the corporations. I, I needed to get down to the green and get to know myself. And I realized animals are my calling. They're so innocent. Attention Windona residents. It is time to open your eyes and realize the cruelty that has been directed to the MacGuffin. Joe's my most committed follower. I, I don't know where I'd be without him. I met Ramona. About, uh, about a month ago today, actually. I saw her with her megaphone, uh, and I just wanted to just be a part of it. It is time that we all unite and fight for the MacGuffin! Fight for the MacGuffin! Fight for the MacGuffin! We met after a rally. Uh, we came by with a flyer, and uh, there, there was a bit of a misunderstanding at first, and nothing big. And so I went over there and I said, Excuse me. Excuse me. I found your flyer. She beat me initially. Okay, all right. Uh, this guy can fly. I just found it on the ground. Is that your, is that your demonstration? Hold on. Okay. I just want to, I don't know why you're hugging me, but. I just want to tell you that I really appreciate what you're doing from the McGuffins. He said he was interested in knowing more about this noble bird, and all I could do was hug him. I know that's what the McGuffins would want me to do. They just hug him. Yeah, let me, let me, let me, let me get this for you. I don't, let me get this for you. I don't know how you, where you put this thing. Let me just try and just slide it. You got the automatic seat belts on. What's that? Bye. I'll Sorry about the, the megaphone. Tool. I, 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 I put it. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. 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 Global warming thing didn't really pan out, you know? You gotta be doing something. You can't just be running 5Ks all the time, you know? It's like, uh, how many 5Ks can I run? How many Ks are there? 100Ks? I don't know. Kellogg's? Kellogg's is a K. Does it matter? I don't know. Well, the protest was completely biased. Um, for one, you know, they didn't show any sides from, like, my side, for example. One time, I, I remember, I think it was one of those birds, I couldn't tell because I don't know what they look like, but they had that thing that everybody keeps talking about. Um, and it just, like, flew into my pocket, started fishing around. It almost got my keys. Uh, but instead it 
got my MP3 player, which is even worse. For MacGuffins, are they going to ask for help? Are they going to hand out flyers saying, please save me, we're being killed? No! They're definitely on the verge of danger, if that helps you, if that helps you at all. Um, you know, if, like, if you could be not in danger, and then you are in danger, they're pretty much on this side of the spectrum, so that's a big one. What's endangering them so much? Um, gasoline, really gasoline prices. Car, there is a car, that, that was your chance. I really want you to be yeah, serious can... about saving these MacGuffins. Can I run as fast as a car? That was a Nissan Sentra. It, it was turning. They're known for their hourglass shape on the back of the, on their backs, the red hourglass, and people associate it with black widows, so they assume poison, I, I, which is right to a degree. I mean, they spit poison, but it's, it's like, it's an animal defense. Think about our octopus. I read mean, they shoot out ink to defend themselves. It's the same thing, but with poison. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah? What if we put one of these in that satellite dish? The satellite dish? Yeah, I, I think that... I don't think it would transmit it. My, my favorite part about them is their cry. If everyone could hear their call, it, it's, it's just so magical. It, it sounds like, ah! It's hard to duplicate, but it's my ringtone, too. Everybody loves it. They go, what's that magical sound? And I say, MacGuffin. I was trying to, I, mean, I want to give these to people, you know? I think, I think that's a great spot well, it's kind of, see it. A lot, this is a heavy traffic area. A lot of people main, will say it. It's on the main road. Yeah, in a the, lot of people will see it. And the they'll town. say, what is that picture? That yeah. We'll want to see it. And then they'll yeah. stand up close by it. Try and get it on a stud. Okay, and they'll say to themselves, what's that magnificent part? Is this pipe, I'm just worried that, that this pipe might spew out, spew out water. That's fine, it's, it's gone symbolism down. for how America is spewing out the MacGuffin. Okay. I thought that was kind of obvious, Joe. Yeah. I've heard that their venom is poisonous. Have you heard anything around? That? That's yet to be proven, actually. We've done experiments on rodents, mostly flying squirrels. So many indigenous uh, animals have been pushed, pushed to the outer limits of this forest. And it's a very beautiful forest, but it won't last for another 10 years. We're working on that, too. We have a campaign with Dennis Hopper. Uh, so it, I'm looking very forward to it. No puppets in that one. I think we're going to go with, like, stick figures. I don't know how it works. Attention! Is this what you want? To build over the natural site of the MacGuffin? They used to live and flourish here. And what now? And what now? Cold steel and cement. That's all there is. Go ahead. Yeah. And you just want a big... Do you just want some dirt? So we're here at our final protest um, to show them all. And we're bound by our legs, which is really symbolic to the great mighty MacGuffin, because uh, as we all know, the way that they used to be killed is they, their legs were chained and they're thrown in rivers, lakes, what have you. People aren't gonna be able to come here knowing that the MacGuffins used to live here. I mean, they can't keep building with us right here. Well, like, well like, I guess they could build all of that. Well, they could, all of all, it, but this around. kind of this corner. Right. What are you, what are We're done. I'm finished. Uh, Lisa, what have you been doing here? I've, I've been filming. For the last month with my money. I just got off the phone with Rob, our production assistant. Do you know what he said? No, what did he say? The bird, the whatever bird you're yes, you're taping. Like, MacGuffin. It's MacGuffin. Yes. Well, it's been ex MacGuffin. it's it's been extinct for over a month. I, I don't know what you're doing. We're done. Shut the cameras off. i you know how much money. I don't know who these. Just we're done. Get out of here. Done. I'm done. Uh, with the help of Joe, I, mean, I pretty much doubled my organization, and I mean, this is just the start. With the help of Joe, it's, I mean, next week it, it could be four people, and then eight, 16, 32, 
it's so on. It's, it's just going to grow, and so are the MacGuffins. They're going to fly again, and they're going to cry out, ah! again, I can't do their voices justice. So gorgeous, and all I can hope for is the best.